I've been a member of the Order and Risk Committee of the City of Gold Coast for the last two years. With the Olympic Games coming up, that's obviously a key part of it. Um, they're very concerned with making sure that the outcomes are aligned to what the community is, is expecting. Having sort of spent and successfully delivered the, the Commonwealth Games in 2018, um, so the infrastructure is already there. Uh, it's how do we repurpose that, how do you align that, how do you convert that to the existing standards. The climate change adaptation plan is, is in place. For that to be effective, um, climate adaptation is a key co component. Sustainability is a big driver. So if you're building new infrastructure, you're designing new infrastructure, there's a lot that needs to be considered from a design perspective. For this uh, project, and it's probably a program of projects to be successful, we've got to see it as a mega project. Um, there are learnings that we need to understand and look at. And if you look at past learnings from the Sydney Games, that cost 6.91 billion, which was actually a 90% overspend. Um, if you look at um, the Rio Games, fast forward 16 years later, that actually cost nearly 19 billion. Um, and the cost per athlete there was about 1.8 million, 350% overspend. And if you look at what's unique about the 2032 Brisbane Games, is that these have got to be sustainable. We've got a world supply chain crisis that's happening at the moment. We're looking at projects that are not only sort of doubling in costs, they're potentially tripling. Uh, we also have other projects which are competing in the southeast corner of Queensland. Queensland Health has just announced that they're spending 15 billion in new projects. There are only so many tier one builders a lot that needs to be considered from a macroeconomic perspective. For us to actually really get this right, we need to understand what drives people, what drives projects, what drives performance. Um, so for us to sort of start playing together, getting the transparency right, we need to get risk management right, right from the outset. So including how do we risk share um, and what are the options we could potentially be putting in place to start sharing that load. And that includes contracts. We have 10 years to prepare, which is probably two years more than what we've had in any other Olympic Games. Let's make that count.